you know, you got some people when they are part of something that becomes extremely successful in their mind, the thing is only successful because of their participation in it. You know what I'm saying? And, and this is a problem. When I see a record label that was created solely around one artist and that artist is also a founding partner in that company. I don't see how you can give full credit or any credit for the success of that company to any one person other than that artist slash founding partner. Yay! Now, now bear with me, right? You could be the best business mind in the world, but if you don't have a product that is in demand, then you don't have nothing at all. You can have your MBA, you can take all of these online courses or whatever on business, and it don't matter. If you don't have a product that is in demand, you don't have nothing at all, or service, a product or service, right? Dudes like Damon Dash, right? Like Damon Dash. These are the kind of dudes that believe that they can sell water to a well, right? They, they brag about how they can get people to buy things. But the truth is, thinking you could sell water to the well is that delusion that Fat Joe is talking about. It wasn't that you had good selling skills. You had a product that was in demand. And Jay-Z was that product. He was the product, right? Nobody cared about Rockefeller label. They wanted to hear Jigger, right? He was the product. And once you have a product that people want, then it's the job of the executives to figure out a way to advertise that product to those people so that they'll know that the product exists and how and where to go and buy the product. That's the job of the, of the executives. But you still need a product that they are willing to buy. Now, this is a very important conversation because the Black Alpha is going to eventually talk about business. And you need to understand the fundamentals of small business because people got this idea that business is all about some type of trans, like you make people purchase things. You don't make people purchase things, bro. People are going to buy what they want to buy. Now, you can lie to them about the product and you could trick them into buying products for, so, for only so long, right? I don't know how much success you'll have at that, but you can't make people buy something. They need to want to buy your product. I think that Dame Dash was, is a pretty decent businessman, personally, but I, I don't think he's a bad businessman. But he doesn't understand relationships, right? The dude is brash. He's aggressive. Business is built upon relationships. This channel is all about relationships, right? It's about not just our relationships with women, but it's about our relationships with each other. It's about our, our, our relationships with society as a whole, right? It's all about relationships. And it just seemed to me that Dame Dash is bad for relationships and Jay-Z is not. Jay-Z seems like he's more reasonable. He seems like he's more approachable. Business-wise, you could talk to him. But Dame Dash seems like a hothead, right? And in business and relationships, nobody likes a hothead. It's like having an aggressive woman. Nobody likes that kind of woman, bro. It's like having some asshole of a man. No woman likes this kind of man. Jay-Z said in one of his songs that he's not a businessman. He is the business man. He said, I'm not a businessman. I am the business man. He's telling you that he is the product. That all of this stuff, and this is why he said, if you said you made hoes, go make another one. Because I am the product. I am the product. So if, if you're claiming that you created this product, then go create another product. That then that's all Fat Joe was saying. And I agree with both Jay-Z and Fat Joe on this argument. I think Dame Dash has no grounds to stand on. Um, he sounds bitter to me. And it's funny that so many men uh, side with, 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 with dudes like Dame Dash. And it just shows how many men we have that are beta males, that are weak. That, you know, listen, bro, y'all dissing date Jay-Z is not going to make your life better. You know, y'all trying to tear this dude down, it's not going to make your life better. Y'all need to leave that alone, bro. You know what I'm saying? So I agree with Fat Joe and Jay-Z on this one. You know what I'm saying? That um, Jay-Z is the business. He is the reason why. If you want to give credit to... I, first of all, I give credit to everybody because everybody got a role to play. But without that product, you got nothing. Understand that. 
without that product, you got nothing. And Jay-Z was the product. He was Rockefeller. That's why he was the only artist on Rockefeller. He was Rockefeller Records. He was it. He was the business man. On that note, I'm out of here, man. This is Brother Cushion. I'll be back with another one. Salam.